Hi, this is Dave Chenault with Skylight Systems, and on this video, I'm going to take you on a short tour of Sidekick 365 XRM Enterprise. This is the newest release in our line of products that lets you manage your customers and account relationships right on top of SharePoint as an app. And this is a very exciting release for us because in this release we had support for 10 languages and then three localized English versions, one for South Africa, one for the UK, and then one for the US. We have more language options coming all the time, and the power of being able to localize the app so it fits your market is really unleashed within this release. We also support security, and that means you can limit who can see the accounts, contacts, or the opportunities in the system, and we'll talk a little bit about that in other videos in this series. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the functionality that you get in Sidekick 365 XRM Enterprise. All you do is you just install it as an app in a SharePoint site. And when you do that, it creates this new module for you that has accounts and contacts, opportunities, etc. on the left-hand side here. And then the home page here is showing you different tasks that are assigned to you and different opportunities that you've also been working on. So let's take a look at the functionality here. You have search, as you would expect. Anything you want to is searchable on the site. You can create new items, accounts, contacts, etc. And then you can launch out into different modules in the system. And finally, you have some canned reports. And we'll take a look at all these options in this video. So let's take a quick look at the home page. Here I can see open tasks that have been assigned to me, when they're done, what the status is, and the account information, etc. about that and the opportunity it's associated with. Here are different opportunities that I'm working on. And let's go take a look at opportunity two. You just simply click on the name or the title of that opportunity and it'll take you right into the screen that manages that opportunity. This is running in Office 365 right now, so you get an idea of the speed that you can get running in the cloud with an app in SharePoint. You can see that I've got one task and no documents associated with this particular opportunity. And I also have an account called ABC Lock and Key. Let's go to that account now. And you can see the way that I move around, I just select those different um, tabs at the top. So here's the account ABC Lock and Key, and this has a lot of documents a lot of opportunities, tasks, and contacts. Let's look at some documents. When I click on that document tab, I'm brought over to a page that shows all the different documents associated with that account and any opportunities also associated. So looking here on the right hand side, you see I have opportunity one. If you'll recall, that was one of the opportunities with this account. And there's a document that's been attached to that opportunity. The great thing is, is it rolls everything up under the account. So whether or not it's assigned directly to the account, a document, or a document's assigned to an opportunity, I can see it all right here in this view. Let's open up this quote that's in Excel. Now we're going to see some of the real power of using Sidekick 365 XRM Enterprise with SharePoint and the whole Office suite. You can see that I've launched Excel right in the browser, and this is using the Office web apps that come with Office 365 on various plans you can purchase. Now, if you want to, you can also set this up on-premise on your SharePoint farm, and it lets users quickly see Office documents without having to have the app local. I can also see different scanned files that are PDFs, and if I look here, there's a check from Brook Blend. Now what's really great about this is I scan this check in, but everything in the check, as long as it's fairly legible, is searchable. It's a searchable PDF file, and I'm using Kodak scanning software and the Kodak scanners to put these into Sidekick 365 XRM. So we're going to take a look at this in a little more detail a few minutes more into this video. And you can also see here that we've got different emails that have been attached. We've got a voicemail because I'm using link. We also have a call record. I can see that I've made a call. All that information is captured right here just through some of the integration we've built between Office and Sidekick 365 XRM series of products. Now let's look at some other different modules and then we're going to look at that integration in more detail. Let's look at the opportunity module. Here I can see all the different opportunities that I'm allowed to see based upon my security profile. And I can do things like I can sort based upon the account or I can filter. 
So I can do ascending or descending sorts. Or I could say, hey, I want to see all the different uh, opportunities for ACE, pest control, and also for ABC lock and key. So if I select those, you can see in the back how it's building me a list of these items. I just added a limousine, or I'll clear all of them. And again, you can see how fast this is running in Office 365. It's very performant. I can also do things like say, mm, let's take a look at, I want to look at the status. And I want to see all the ones that are closed that we won. So I just click on that. And you'll see the list is filtered for me automatically. And I can just scroll down to see them in detail. And any one, I just click on the name. And I can go into it and see what's going on with it. Now that opportunity can have different documents, notes, tasks assigned, and I can always pop over to the account to see what's going on with that account. And again, you can see the speed. This is a very quick and reliant system that's running in Microsoft's infrastructure in Office 365. And it's running really for a fraction of the price that you would pay for similar systems that other uh, vendors are offering in the marketplace today. OK, let's look at some reports. Let's look at a pipeline report. So I'm going into a pipeline report, and I want to see what's outstanding in the year 2014. So it just takes a minute to run that. And you can see I have a lot of things coming in October. Let's, let's look at some breakdowns. Let's look at some sales by month. And let's look at 2013, last year. See what we can find here. OK, not a great year for us. Looks like we had some sales in January. It was pretty flat. But let's move into 2014 and see how we're doing this year. Now you can see we're doing much better this year, and you have some nice graphing. What I'm trying to show you here is that we have a very rich graphing module available within the platform as well. Now these uh, uh, graphs are created with an open source HTML and JavaScript. And so if you want to have some customized or special reports that are not included here in the drop-down, just go ahead and get in touch with us, and we'll help you put those together. Another important thing to take a look at is how you can manipulate list views to do a lot of very simple but powerful reporting. Let's take a look now at some opportunities in the system. And what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and modify some of these opportunities list views. And I'm going to do that either by changing what I display on the screen, or I'm also going to change the sort order or group by as well. So we'll come into our opportunities here. And now what I want to do is I'm going to go in and modify this view. And if you look here, you're going to see that I have three little dots. So if I select that and say modify this view, you're going to see that I'm able to go in and see all of the different fields that I can display in that report. I can also do things like sort, filter, make a tabular view, group it, do totals, etc. So you can see here I can make a total, a subtotal if I want to. I can do um, different styles. I can show different amounts of items in every view. Very powerful. And I can save that view with its own name. And so what that means is when I come back into the list view, what you're going to see is I can see a lot of different view options here. When I go to click, click, you can see I have my open or my select opportunities. These are different views that I can see right in, the, uh, in Sidekick. So let's go on back in the system and take a look at that. Let's go to Accounts. Now the default view has what we call just the All Accounts. But I could also do things like see all uh, items, select accounts. I just simply check a different drop-down. And these are selected accounts that I have put together. OK, and I'll click the S there to go back into Sidekick regular views. So again, all these list options are available. It's really great because you can go in and you can make your own views and do quick reports this way. The other thing you can do is you can change what's displayed on an account list. So let's go look at that. So if I go in and modify my view, I can go and select different accounts, uh, sorry, different fields that are available for that view. It'll take just a minute here. And you can see I could do things like show the full address. I could show the billing city, et cetera. Let's put in for kicks uh, the full address just to see what that looks like. And that'll be in position 10. 
And now what we'll see is we have there the address with the state. Now I can also say things like, let's say I want to filter to show only the accounts in California. Now I've done that. Now I could create a list view and save this and have it as one of my drop downs here. It should say, let's say California accounts. So I hope you're starting to see the power of how you can manipulate these different list views right on the fly as you need to. Okay, a few other things. Let's go ahead now and create a new account. To do that, I select the drop down on the left and I give it a name. You'll notice that the required fields have a red star by them. So I'll say this is Dave's new account. And I can fill out all the information that I need to about this, but the only required field that I've got right now is this star. Now another important piece of this is selecting um, the owner on this as well. So I've got the owner selected and I want to put in now the account ID and I'll just call it uh, Dave's. Keep it simple. And I could put in phone, etc. I keep on going, but this is enough for now. Now what you'll see when the list refreshes is I have this brand new account and it's a few things I want to look at on this. And let's sort this based upon um, no state. So in this case, let's have it empty because I didn't put one in. And let's see what comes up. Well, there it is, Dave's new account. You see how fast that was. Now, one thing to notice is there's nothing here in the word profile. Okay? And what that means is there's a security profile that we can assign to limit who can see this account. So let's take a look at the profiles for a minute. Now when I come into the profile ma uh, module, you'll see I have a couple set up now. There's an Allen S profile and a Brad S profile, and I have these groups set up. So that means if I assign this profile to uh, any of the accounts or contacts or opportunities, only people in the Allen S read group can read it, and only people in the Allen S edit group can edit it. Okay, now let's see how this kind of plays out. Let's go into accounts. And you'll notice that everything here is Alan S. Profile. That's because I've logged in as Alice Alan S. I have another instance of Sidekick running, and let's take a look at that. In this case, I've logged in as David So, and David is a manager. And what we've done is we've added him to the groups in the security profiles for both uh, a profile called Alan S. and another called Brad. And if you notice here, he can see everything. Now let's go into ABC lock and key and see what he can do. When I select the edit option, you'll see that I have, sorry you don't have access to this page. That's because David only belongs to the read groups in both Alan's security profile and Brad's. Okay, so you can limit who can edit or who can read, and you can limit who can see various things in the system, even down to what they can see when they search within the system. Okay, so the very last thing I want to show you now is let's go back to the home page. Let's look at a little integration between Outlook and Sidekick and explain how that works across all of the products in uh, the Office suite of tools. So here I have a message from Dan Pfeiffer at the White House. And I said, you know, that's an important email. I want to save that email into Sidekick 365 Enterprise. Well, what you'll see is we have an add-in now in the body of the message. And when I click this, I'm going to get a challenge to log in to Sidekick right from Outlook. So it'll take just a second for that screen to come up. And now it's going to ask me to log in, and I'll log in as Alan S. And I'll supply my password. Now I could remember this as well, keep me signed in, but I wanted to show you the process. So next time I do this, if I select this button, it won't challenge me again. Now what's really great, you're going to see in just a minute, is I can see all of the accounts and all of the opportunities that I have access to in Sidekick right within Outlook. And that means I can then push the copy of this email right into that um, account or opportunity. So we made Dave, if you remember. Let's see if we can find uh, that in there. There's Dave's new account. 
and I'm going to upload this email into it. I don't have any opportunities yet associated with it, so I'll upload the email into that. And it'll take just a moment. So now it's made a copy of the email into Sidekick right from Outlook. And we have this same capability in Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. So that means that you can take important Excel spreadsheets, Word files, etc., load them into Sidekick, and share them with a team. Now let's go back and take a look and see how that looks. Let's go to Accounts. And we're going to filter rather than doing a lot of scrolling, although actually I'll show you another way. Another way we can do this is if I select Title, you can see that I have the names of all my accounts. And if I just scroll to, say, Dave's new account, I can filter it that way. And now I'll open it up rather than scrolling through a big list. And what I should see is in my docs, I should see one file. And that would be my email that I put in. And if I click on it, I'll see that email that I just attached from Outlook right into the cloud in Office 365 and into Sidekick 365 XRM Enterprise. So let's come up here and I can now see that email waiting for me. Anybody that could access this account now can see this. And also, you can make this searchable. In about five minutes, the crawler will have run in Office 365 or in SharePoint. And now every word in this is searchable. So you can say, you know, I know I got an email from President Obama, but I'm not sure where I put that. You could search on that in about five minutes. Let's go ahead and open it up and see how it looks. You can see that it just opens up in Outlook as you would hope and you'll have all the functionality to forward to reply etc and now you can just close this down if you want and we're back in Sidekick 365 Enterprise okay now I'm gonna do one last thing and show you and prove to you that all those scanned images are searchable I'm gonna type in the word negotiable and I know that that word is in the checks that I scanned and I'm gonna go ahead and hit it now you see how fast that search was. Every item in, in the system is indexed for me, including these scanned images if you save them as a searchable PDF and whatever you want to use to scan it. And we have that module available for you if you need it. And I can go in now and let's take a look at this check from Greg. And I will see that the word negotiable is right here in the check. And I could also highlight that if I wanted to in the PDF viewer. Okay, so I hope that this was a, a useful demo for you. Um, I think we've shown a lot of capabilities with Sidekick 365 XRM. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a, a, an email at info at skylightsystems.com. And that's S-K-Y-L-I-T-E-S-Y-S-T-E-M-S.com, all one word. And we'll get right back to you. Thanks for taking the time to look at our application. We hope that you become one of our new customers.